Hey guys, Picano here, bringing you guys on the GTA 5 video, and in today's video, we have race 4 of the Children of the Mountain event, which, I'm really sorry for posting this a bit later than normal, because I said I posted it on Monday, which I didn't, because, yeah. Anyway, so this was race 4 of Children of the Mountain, the track and all the details will be linked in the description, so go check that out anyway, but the race 4 was in the Massacros, and it was a track that was selected uh, a couple of weeks beforehand and it was an interesting track so I started in about 7th position and I got down to 13th position within the first two corners so that was a bit annoying but you know we had to uh, we had to grind that back up so currently 13th place um, like I said in the other videos of the children and mountain race there is a mandatory pit stop for 10 seconds You'll see probably one of the worst pit stop ever attempted between me and Ryan in this race, but that's what's something you're going to have to wait through for the video to actually witness because it was horrendous, but at the end of the day, it was a laugh. But So, we're in 13th place, and I'm currently at the moment about 8 or 9 seconds behind 1st and 2nd place. So I'm here just trying to grind it, hitting every single barrier you can see here. This guy could not drive for shit. But anyway, on the uh, on the, on the lap above, we actually do tend to catch up to the pack. So um, we're in 12th position now, and we're able to see a bunch of cars. We've got Cirrus in front here, and we can see Sean L and some other people in front there. And all these fences are going down. Someone chokes. This is the sort of last bit of the track. Um, it was a really flowy track in the Massacros, it's quite good, these tight turns, the car can understeer a bit, but that is the beauty of it, you got to learn it, you can see Sirius is just like flying poles out of his vagina into me, so I don't know what was going on there, maybe that was a team tactical distraction for me to actually put myself off, and it did work because I oversteered that corner, but this, um, this race here was particularly interesting because... It had this sort of chicane at the start and you could either take it really well or you could take it really badly and choke so that was quite interesting um, but the track is about a two minute I think it's is it a, I think it's a two minute 55 second track on average I think someone got 50 but race pace is maybe 54 or 55 so yeah it was it was a long track um, but it was a fun track and Honestly, like I mentioned in the previous video, this was one of the most fun races I've ever been in because, again, it's not a, it's not a uber serious race. You know, there's not you know rules with like you know magnums pointing at each side of your temple. You know, if you do something wrong, then you're going to be shot and then like assassinated in front of your family. You don't get any of that in here. You get a bit of arguments, and that's about it. But um, but yeah, there's the whole race was like three man, four man battles, just competing. You know, three cars going round like five laps consecutively within literally two meters of each other. So, and that's the best thing to see. So, I took that chicane really, really slow. Um, but I'm actually in ninth place, so I'm actually creeping the positions up. And as you can see here, further on in the lap, um, Sirius is trying to go for that overtake. And you can sort of see, he's trying to go for the inside, he goes for the dive bomb and he sort of gets it. And then I think, I can cut on the inside here, mate. But I do end up sort of regaining this position. You can see I had to back off here. Good job that bush wasn't a solid one because I would have gone face palmed into that tree. But me and Sirius actually gained the position from that guy. And me and Sirius now are actually battling for literally about three laps, I would say. Um, so it was interesting and it was just constant back and forth action. You can see uh, we're actually in sixth place now. So from 13th to sixth place, we're actually doing really, really well. As you can see, we've got Sean L in front. So, you know, we're catching up to the, catching up to the pack and yeah, I didn't expect this. I expect it to be, you know, still quite far down. I mean, this is, this is division one. Um, so this is sort of like the top of the league in terms of in terms of this event. There's Division Two and Division Three. So this corner here is also very tricky because you can hit that sign and you can also clip the inside of that right hander. Which there's a bit of a controversial incident later on in the race, which I will be breaking down, sort of giving my opinions on. But like I said, you know. I'm not going to shoot anyone or he's not going to shoot me or you know it's just going to be one of those things where you move on 
and you get on with the next race and you practice for that. Currently, I've actually, um, you know, MCC is going to be over. Um, so it's going to be over this weekend, so that's pretty interesting. But that'll be another video anyway. Whatever happens, happens. So this is the going on to about 20 minutes now into the into the actual lap and you can see i get a nice slide into this corner you can see that was a beautiful slide by the massacre going into that corner and what you're going to be seeing now is me and sirius are pushing it and pushing it so much that we're actually catching up to you know if you look on the map now we're actually got first second third fourth fifth all within reach you know all within reach i take this corner beautifully um, we go down and then onto the next couple of laps. So, going on to this, Sean and Sirius decide to pit. So the pit is on to the left here, and remember they've got to wait for 10 seconds um, at the end of the pit. So I'm catching up. I think Ryan chokes or something like that. Oh, I do really well. I can't really remember, but me and Ryan are in third place now. I think a few people did pit, so. You know, no, Sirius and Sean Pitty, so that makes sense. So yeah, Ryan is in second place. And I sort of get him on the inside here. And at this point, I'm asking Ryan, has he pitted? Because I thought, you know, he's actually pitted and he's still ahead of me. But he actually hasn't. So I was quite interested by that. So I'm like, I'm probably going to go for the pit here. And he's like, yeah, I'm probably going to go for the pit too. So in this mind, right, us two, yeah, we're planning ahead. We're literally a minute and a half in advance to say we are planning to go into the pit now you're probably thinking how can this pit stop go any like how can it go misjudge and how can it go so wrong in what actually happened and you know you'd be quite right it did go wrong it went wrong quite badly because what we what we actually did was completely i want to say completely mess up the race we actually sort of misdid the positions a bit because we did affect some people's positions but you know the people that the people's positions that we messed up didn't really affect the entire race because they wouldn't have been knocked out anyway you know to get knocked out in this uh, competition you've got or in division you've got to be below the top 10 so if you finish in top 10 you're absolutely fine you can go ahead in division one again if you finish below division uh, um, the top 10 then you drop down a division so we didn't really do that but it is coming up the the actual fail of a pit stop between me and ryan so i get a nice cheeky one on ryan right and at this point i'm asking you know where is the pit because i didn't really practice the pit like i said mcc takes up a lot and this so i'm here going into this didn't expect this this is a blind sort of handbrake sort of well sort of fail of a handbrake now, you can you see these cones here, like now? You stop there, right? Yeah, we didn't do that. We actually stopped on the chicane. You know, one of the most complicated corners. Ryan gets tapped there. And we're actually in the pit for about 13 seconds. 12 to 13 seconds. Someone actually flips over on the right-hand side. But, like I said, we messed up the positions. But we didn't mess up the actual, you know, relegation zone. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone here that messed up or the people that messed up were in this top 10. So um, at this point, everyone that you see on the map now, including the car behind me, is still able to go through into the net, you know, into the same division. So we're not going to be dropped. So it's no one's fault. Uh, well, it is, but it isn't, if that makes sense. So we're battling here. We've got Ryan, Cirrus, uh, and myself all in this sort of pack here. Sean has actually completely gone because Sean was... Well, he's, he, he reacted to Ryan, he reacted to, to Fat Ryan and basically got out of it somehow and didn't actually flip over. But, you know, it was one of those things where it was a racing incident, but it was one of those things that was just funny. And like I said, no one's going to shoot you for doing that. It's just going to be a bit of bit of like, why did you do this and why did you, you know, whatever. But yeah. So, Ryan sort of takes that and then Cirrus gets a, a, a line completely wrong and there's a guy behind me going for the inside there and we can sort of pretend to try and look like we're going to defend but we're actually going to go on the outside so I get a nice um, nice sort of exit out of that and we're in the same positions again um, so we're going we're approaching the 24th minute and the races usually last it's about 30 minutes um, a race so it just depends nice little two wheel action there and I think Sirius actually throws some fences at me right no it doesn't that's next lap anyway so this battle was insane Right, because we had four cars battling the shit out of each other, all within you know bumper to bumper um, sort of area space between the cars, and 
What made it more interesting was we didn't really make any contact with one another for all these laps. You know, we didn't we didn't choke, we didn't crash, we didn't, you know, take people out. Everything was in a controlled manner. Everything was under under you know under control and you know I think seriously actually gets a nice little short shift able to go into the top gear and get a really good run on Ryan so I'm here in eighth position because of that incident of a failed pit stop but you know I'm like all right you know if I finish eighth I'm I'm still gonna be happy that I started in 13th you know technically speaking and considering that pit stop where we waited three seconds more than what we should have done um, and had that incident I'm happy you know we're all happy. Well, that's what we think anyway. But what what happens now is quite unfortunate. So I think at this point here, um, we're all sort of getting into that zone where we're getting quite tired because, you know, we're half an hour into the race and, you know, sometimes you can make mistakes and whatnot. But what actually happened was the battle between Ryan, Sirius and me, we were actually putting each other so much so much that Sirius is actually throwing fences at me so you know that just goes to show and we've actually caught to you know the top two guys we actually caught to Sean as well which was Sean had a really good race in this actually so GG to him um, but yeah we, we actually caught up because we were actually pushing each other and like I said no one choked you know no one made a mistake whatsoever um, and it was all in a controlled manner yeah I mean that wasn't really the correct thing phrase for that given moment but you know what I mean um, because at this point like I said tiredness kicks in and you can see Ryan here goes into space literally and I sort of clip him and then this is interesting what happens now so I'm gonna try and explain this as best as I can right he's on the inside okay he's going for the inside I lay right I think okay I'll try and cut back what happens here now is I shift towards the left hand side because I'm thinking, right, he's going to take the inside, we're going to take, look, I break now, his car stops, I'm going to put it in slow motion, right, because his car stopped, it like jerked back as he was turning that into that right-hander, right, so if we take a look at it now, I do wait and he chokes again, you know, he chokes on the fence, but, you know, like, me and Sirius are like, I've just got to go, so he breaks here, right, he turns in now, okay, but if you pay attention to the car, it stops, it like it stops and I'm taking the line correctly and at that point I pretty much did nothing wrong and you know I did wait for him even though I technically did nothing wrong but because he choked on the barrier afterwards trying to recover you know there's there's not much I can do about that you know if you if it if I took him out fair enough you know I'd let I waited anyway but I'm not waiting for another incident that he created on his own by choking from a recovery but anyway I finished fifth so I'm happy with that but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and there was a lot of talking in this but it was a, a big race and a lot of things happened so hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe to see more of these GTA 5 events make sure you follow me on social media all the links down below and hopefully you have a nice day guys so see you in the next video cheers